On Friday, the U.N. Security Council passed a resolution that calls for an end to Israeli settlements in the West Bank. The U.S. was the only country to abstain from the vote, while the rest of the council voted in favor. The resolution, which was put forward by New Zealand, Malaysia, Venezuela and Senegal, is the first on Israel to be adopted in nearly eight years. These notes are okay. Muy buenas tardes. Good afternoon. The 7,853rd meeting of the Security Council is called to order. A provisional agenda for this meeting is the situation in the Middle East, including the Palestinian question. The agenda is adopted. In accordance with Rule 37 of the Council's Provisional Rules of Procedure, I invite the representative of Israel to participate in this meeting. It is so decided. I propose that the Council invite the permanent observer of the observer state of Palestine to the United Nations to participate in the meeting in accordance with the Provisional Rules of Procedure and the previous practice in this regard. There being no objection, it is so decided. The Security Council will now begin its consideration of item two of the agenda. Members of the Council have before them document S-2016-1100, stroke stroke the text of a draft resolution submitted by Malaysia, New Zealand, Senegal, and the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. I shall now give the floor to members of the Council who wish to make a statement before the vote. I give the floor to the Ambassador of Malaysia. Thank you, Mr. President, for convening this important meeting at such short notice. Malaysia, together with New Zealand, Venezuela and Senegal as co-sponsors of the draft resolutions on the issue of illegal Israeli settlements, are calling for this meeting to put the draft to vote. As representatives of various regional groupings at the United Nations, the Asia-Pacific Group, WEOG, the African Group, and GRULAC, we are bound by similar aims and sense of responsibility to take effective actions on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, especially on the issue of settlements. In numerous council meetings on Palestine, and at the ARIA Formula meeting on settlements last October, we listened to repeated calls by council members, the United Nations Secretary General, the Special Coordinator for the Middle East Peace Process, the civil society, as well as other UN member states for urgent council actions to halt settlement activities and reverse the negative trends that are threatening peace and the viability of the two-state solutions. The latest unprecedented attempt by the Israeli parliament to legalize outposts on private Palestinian lands added further urgency for the council to send a clear signal on the issue of settlements. Malaysia acknowledged the efforts by Egypt and the Arab League for engaging in consultations with council members over the past two months on this issue. We fully support their effort and we share their aim for council action. We also observe an emerging consensus among council members on the issue of settlements. With us believe that it is urgent for the council to seize the opportunity for effective council action without any further delay. The draft resolution being put to vote today calls for the cessations of all Israeli settlement activities and for affirmative steps to reverse the negative trends on the ground that are endangering the two-state solutions. It also calls for immediate steps to prevent all acts of violence against civilians, including acts of terror and calls for accountability. The text further urges all parties to intensify their efforts to achieve a comprehensive, just and lasting peace in the Middle East and to end Israeli occupations. On the implementations of the resolutions, the text is requesting that the Secretary General report to the Council every three months. 
Mr. President, we realize that some council members may have legitimate concerns on the short period of time in which the draft was officially circulated, put to blue and tabled for adoption. In normal and ideal circumstances, we too would have preferred a more transparent and inclusive process. However, we realize that this is anything but a normal situation and that we need to tread carefully in view of the sensitivities of the issue. Exceptional circumstances require bold action and exceptional measures. Ultimately, our aim is to bridge the gap in the respective positions of council members in order to reach a consensus. The last time the council adopted a resolution on settlement was over 36 years ago. Since then, the situation on the ground has worsened to a point where the very prospect of the two-state solutions is now in question. There is no doubt that this falls under the responsibility of the Security Council under the United Nations Charter to maintain international peace and security. We thus appeal to all Council members not to lose this opportunity for peace and to exercise our legal, political and moral responsibility to vote in support of the draft resolutions which is based on previous Council resolutions, the values and the principles of the United Nations Charter, international law and international standards of human rights. The time for action is now to prove our long-held commitment and to reinforce that the two-state solutions is not a merely empty slogan. I thank you, Mr. President.